169, same means we got shots fired at 415 AS. Fascinating press conference yesterday as we heard again from the sheriff in Las Vegas about what really went down in terms of the timeline. Things are becoming abundantly clear. It wasn't exactly like it was presented last week as the dust is finally settling. Right, exactly. What we were told last week was that the guard came to the room during the massacre and uh, the gunman turned around and shot 200 holes in the in the door, turning it into essentially Swiss cheese, it was described as by some of the officers, but injuring the, the uh, security guard who worked for Mandalay Bay. We were told that was why the uh, shooter then stopped shooting and killed himself. However, last night, the sheriff made it very clear the guard came upon the shooter six minutes before he started shooting. The guard was there on that floor. He was already there checking an open door in another's guest room, and that's when he discovered the shooter. Listen to this. This is the sheriff, Joe Lombardo. The timeline associated with the original shot in Mr. Campos has changed through investigation, as I have conveyed to you from the very beginning, and your zest for information and my zest to ensure the public safety and the calming of their minds is some things are going to change. Now, they are minute changes, okay? There's not this um, all-encompassing answer associated with the information that we presented before. In other words, it's not completely inaccurate. But what we have learned is Mr. Campos was encountered by the suspect prior to his, uh, his shooting to the outside world. The thought was that, okay, he comes there, he realizes, the shooter realizes they're going to be coming in great numbers, he's going to kill himself, and he kills himself. Now, why did he stop shooting? Mm -hmm. You know, what's caused him to stop shooting if the security guard came there first and then he opens up fire? Why did he stop at all and, so and many questions. kill himself, so many questions. being that he had equipment, material, in order to escape, and it is proven that he was shooting at the tanks. So maybe blowing up the tanks, getting some fire retardant equipment on, and leaving was his plan. Police say they assumed that he stopped because the gunman knew the security guard was outside in the hallway, was right. calling for help. He was about to... to be caught, and so he was trying to figure out an escape plan. Yeah, but that just doesn't make sense now, given the new timeline. You know, Mandalay Bay needs to explain why the officer didn't report to the police for 20 minutes, because had the police actually been there a couple of minutes earlier, you, you know, on location, perhaps they could have stopped wonder, a lot of what happened. Makes me wonder, too, I, was he having second thoughts? Jason Aldean was the last person that was singing at this weekend concert. The guy had checked into the hotel room on the 25th, we're being told. That yeah. was, so he was there for a long time. I wonder if he shot the security guard and then realized, they're coming for me. I better do what I was here to do, and then I'm going to take myself out. I don't yeah. know. Don't yeah. know. And how he died, I guess he definitely you know, took himself out, uh, according to Dan Maybe. Springer last night.